Top 5. Heavy Infantry Fighting Vehicles Number 5. VN-20. 50 tones. The VN-20 is based on a modified tracked chassis of the VT-4 main battle tank, with additional armor mounted at the front and the sides of the hull. According to our analysis, the driver is seated on the left-hand side of the hull. Another crew member, who might be the commander, is seated on his right. The engine is located at the front of the hull. The rear part of the vehicle can accommodate up to six infantrymen who board and leave the vehicle by a single hydraulic ramp. The VN-20 displayed at Airshow China 2022 seems to be fitted with a remotely operated weapon station armed with a 30mm automatic cannon, but according to a video published on Chinese social networks, the VN-20 can be also equipped with a two-man turret armed with a 100mm and a 30mm cannons, like the Russian BMP-3 tracked armored IFV, a remotely controlled machine gun on the turret roof, and, a unique feature, two remotely controlled 7.62mm machine guns mounted at the rear of the hull. The VN-20 is fitted with an incredible armor package mounted around the hull and the turret. The front and the upper part of the side's hull is protected by ERA, explosive reactive armor, while the lower part is fitted with armor plates and wire cage armor covering the suspension of the vehicle. The turret is also fitted with an impressive thickness of armor at 360 degrees. Citing a Chinese defense source, the VN-20 offers ballistic protection level 6 Stanig 4569 against the firing of 30mm APFSDS, armor-piercing fin stabilized, discarding SABO, or AP, armor-piercing, at 500 meters at the front and center line. The VN-20 keeps the original suspension of the VT-4 consisting of six large dual rubber-tired road wheels with the drive sprocket at the front, idler at the rear, and track return rollers. To extend the operational range of the VN-20, two additional diesel fuel drums can be mounted externally at the rear. Number 4. Puma, 43 tones. The Puma is a recent German design. First production vehicles were delivered to the German army in 2010. The Puma is currently the most protected production IFV in the world. It has modular add-on armor. There is an option of three various protection levels to suit operational needs. With maximum level of protection the Puma is even heavier than a T-72 main battle tank. It can be even considered as a heavy IFV. It seems that the most protected variant withstands 120 and 125mm tank projectiles over the front arc vehicle also withstands mine blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Furthermore the Puma is fitted with advanced threat warning system which improves survivability. There are some other IFVs that are even heavier and possibly more protected than the Puma, including a German Lynx KF-41 and Russian Armada heavy IFV. However both of these vehicles are still being developed and so far received no production orders, while the Puma is an operational vehicle, which is being built in significant numbers. This German IFV is armed with turret-mounted 30mm cannon and coaxial 5.56mm light machine gun. Vehicle is powered by diesel engine, developing a whooping 1073 horsepower. Some of the latest main battle tanks are fitted with less powerful engines than this German IFV. Number 3. Lynx, 50 tones. The Lynx Heavy IFV was developed as a private venture by the same company as the Puma, but was mainly aimed at export customers. Initial Lynx KF-31 IFV was introduced in 2016 and larger Lynx KF-41 followed in 2018. During the same year a single Lynx KF-41 was observed in Qatar during a military parade. However its status is uncertain. The KF-41 might be the heaviest and in most protected IFV in the world. It uses proven and readily available components wherever possible in order to reduce production and maintenance costs. As a result it is more affordable than the Puma. The Lynx has a modular design and can be configured for various roles. It has a common drive module with an interchangeable mission module. It can be configured as a command post vehicle, armored reconnaissance vehicle, repair and recovery vehicle and armored ambulance. The mission module of the Lynx can be removed and replaced in field conditions within 8 hours. 
Maximum weight of the initial Lynx KF-31 was a whooping 38 tons. At the time it was already one of the heaviest and most protected IFBs, outperforming the German Army's Puma. The new Lynx KF-41 is even heavier. It weighs around 44 tons and has a growth potential to 50 tons. So the Rain Metal Lynx is one of the heaviest and most protected IFBs. In terms of protection, the Lynx KF-41 might be even superior to the German Army's Puma. Its protection level approaches that of older main battle tanks. It seems that the most protected variant of the Lynx withstands 120 and 125 mm tank projectiles over the front arc. Number 2. T-15 Armada, 55 tones. The T-15 Armada is a new Russian heavy infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. This heavy IFV was developed as a part of armored vehicle family. It is based on the same platform as the Armada main battle tank. In 2018 Russian mod ordered a first batch of these heavy IFVs. It is estimated that the contract was for around 60 vehicles. By 2022 this Russian armored vehicle was still not in service of mass production. It seems that Armada Heavy IFV has similar level of protection as Armada Main Battle Tank. The T-15 Armada Heavy IFV has an unusual layout with a front-mounted engine. Interestingly, the Armada tank has a rear power pack arrangement. It became an issue for designers in order to make a troop compartment in the rear part of the vehicle. So the Heavy IFV has a swapped front end with the rear. It is driving backwards comparing with the original Armada MBT. Such solution has already been used on some main battle tank conversions to heavy armored personnel carriers. In order to protect a weaker armor of the engine compartment, a distinctive wedge-shaped armor was added to the front part of the vehicle. This armored vehicle is operated by a crew three men, including commander, gunner, and driver. Crew members are located in the center of the vehicle, behind the front engine compartment. Troop compartment is located at the rear. It is likely that this heavy IFV accommodates six to seven dismounts. Troops egress and dismount via rear power-operated doors. The T-15 Armada is one of the most protected, if not the most protected IFV in the world. It has newly developed base armor, made of steel, ceramics, and other composite materials. Also it has Malekit add-on explosive reactive armor, that is claimed to be of new generation. A front-mounted engine provides additional protection for the crew and passengers. It has been reported that it will be fitted with new Afghanit active protection system. It also has a new countermeasure system that reduces the chance of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided missiles with semi-automatic guidance. It can be deployed on the battlefield alongside Armada tanks, not behind them. It has unmanned turret, armed with 30mm cannon, coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and four Cornet M anti-tank missile launchers. In 2018 an improved variant of the Armada Heavy IFV was publicly revealed. It had an unmanned turret, fitted with a 57mm cannon, 7.62mm machine gun and two Attica T anti-tank guided missiles. This variant packs a much heavier punch than the initial variant, with a 30mm turret. It could be the ultimate variant of the Armada IFV. This heavy IFV is fitted with a powerful A85-3 engine, developing 1,500 horsepower. Interestingly this rating is for a peak power which would be used only during wartime and at a cost of extremely short service life. Normally this engine develops 1,350 horsepower. This IFV has a built-in self-entrenchment blade and can briefly dig itself a defensive position. Number 1. Neymar. 63 tones. The Neymar, Tiger, heavy armored personnel carrier is a mayor element of the IDF modernization plan. The latest design of the Neymar is based on the Merkaba MK.4 main battle tank chassis. Currently it is one of the most protected APCs in the world. It provides infantry with the level of protection and mobility matching those of the latest main battle tanks. A first batch of production vehicles was delivered in 2008. Israel plans to acquire a total of 170 Neymar heavy armored personnel carriers. Originally 386 vehicles were planned however later this number was reduced due to budget cuts. The Neymar heavy APC is fitted with modular armor and Mile Ruach active protection system, which is commonly known as Trophy. For the first time active protection system is used as an integral element. 
Vehicle is also fitted with NDC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The Neymar offers the same protection level as the Merkava MK.4. Vehicle is armed with remotely controlled weapon station, fitted with 12.7mm machine gun, which can be replaced with 40mm grenade launcher. There is also a manually operated 7.62mm machine gun, mounted on top of the roof. Vehicle is fitted with new battlefield management system. Infantry fighting vehicle, armed with 30mm cannon and anti-tank guided missiles. The Neymar has a crew of two and provides accommodation for 10 infantrymen or two stretchers. Troops enter and leave the vehicle through the rear ramp, while there are two hatches on the hull roof for commander and gunner. Despite being based on Merkava MK.4 running gear, the Neymar has a different hull. Initial production vehicles are powered by the Merkava MK.3 MBT Continental AVDS 1790-9 AR diesel engine, developing 1,200 horsepower, however it will be replaced with more modern Continental or MTU unit. The IDF also considered developing other support variants of the Neymar, such as armored recovery vehicle, technical support vehicle, and ambulance. Thank you for watching.